What is going on ladies and gentlemen, my name is Ecoli Espresso and welcome back to another Black Ops 3 video here today on the channel. Earlier in the day we got a trailer for Garod Krovi, the brand new zombies map in DLC 3 map pack titled Descent, and really that was the main focus of this trailer. We didn't get anything multiplayer wise or anything like that, except for the very end promotional image for Descent, the overall map pack itself. Everything else besides that was zombies focused, and if you guys did want to check that out, the link to my breakdown is down there in the description below from earlier in the day but we're gonna be taking a look at actually some high-res images of the multiplayer maps within this one but before we get too far into it if you guys want to check out a giveaway me and a couple of friends are doing we're giving away infinite warfare's legacy edition battlefield one a pair of control freaks and a tub of g fuel to the winner here if you guys like free stuff and want a chance to maybe see some new content creators that you guys may fall in love with that link is down there in the description below but let's talk about the multiplayer maps so we talked earlier in our video all about Garod Krovi so we're not really gonna mention that here with this one this is mainly going to be focused on the promotional art for the multiplayer maps that being cryogen berserk rumble and empire so with that said let's just jump right into cryogen the first one here the description is it's located far off the coast of the dead sea an isolated compound which holds some of the world's most dangerous criminals in a frozen isolation sentry towers keep watch over the small map circular designs as frenetic combat is funneled around the prison's cryogenic tubes which offer plenty of opportunities for wall running attacks so this one is going to be a smaller map a little bit of a circular design and it's going to then focus a lot of this combat towards the inner and outermost portions of it but since it is so small it's gonna be relatively all the same wall running is gonna be something we get to use to our advantage here and of course the image itself looks super cool as well Berserk is described as ancient sentinels from a lost civilization guard the entrance to Berserk, a Viking village frozen in time. Fight through blizzards and control the center bridge as you navigate this medium-sized map's wooden buildings and craggy rock outcroppings. Now this thing to me looks like the main focus is going to be the huts or the main building here, which you can see in this image, but also the very cool thing I love about this, it's not going to be in the playable map, but it is going to be off in the distance, is the two warriors guarding it. It just looks so cool. The giant statues, if you want to say that they're that I don't know how they're gonna be actually described, but nonetheless, it is super cool. I think the visuals on this one are absolutely awesome. There's gonna be a lot of snowy parts to this, as well as my guess, and a few different flank routes but I think it looks very cool. Now, Rumble is described as fighting it out amongst mechanized warriors in Rumble, an arena where giant robots battle to the roar of the crowd. The small to medium-sized map funnels high-speed combat to the central pit with tight corners throughout the exterior of the stadium. Now, to me, the very first glance that I had at this, it honestly reminds me of Rush from Black Ops to the paintball course that we got here with that, but also mixed in a little bit with the vibe of Encore as well as Grind, just having that central location that's the main point but it also has like this grand feel to it where there's gonna be a lot of open air different corridors things like that I think this one looks very cool as well I'm excited to see how this one plays out because if it is like how I feel at first glance it definitely will be a lot of fun but moving along to our final one here this is Empire the fan favorite raid is returning it's said to get a fresh upgrade enhanced by the Black Ops 3 chained movement system the classic medium-sized map features an authentic Roman villa recreated by a modern-day eccentric billionaire and mixed sight lines enable any style of gameplay so this one there's no other way to describe it it's raid I'm super hyped that it's coming back the fan favorite this map was by far one of my favorites if not my favorite from Black Ops 2 and it might actually be up there in the top 10 top 5 of maps overall for me in Call of Duty so I'm super pumped that this one is coming back imagine this pretty much as raid just reskinned and featuring some wall running locations as well there was a bunch of those already that could have worked back in Black Ops 2 so I can't imagine it's gonna change too much but that is we're gonna wrap it up here today ladies and gentlemen Empire Rumble Berserk, Cryogen, and then of course Grod Krovi for the Zombies map. That is going to make up Descent here coming July 12th, just two weeks out now from this. Start the countdown, start the hype period. I'm super hyped, so I'd love to hear your thoughts down there in the comment section down below. Are you guys hyped for this map pack? Are you guys hyped for any maps in particular? Love to hear your thoughts down there in the comment section down below. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys did like the video, be sure to have a like for it down below. And if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. We're on that road to 40,000 subscribers once again because of the sub purge. Hopefully getting back up to the road to 50,000. But nonetheless, thank you dudes so much for watching. I'll see you guys later. Take care and peace.